Hey, my name is Shane. And I'm Nick. AKA the Ho Ho. And we make up Landship Customs. And this is the full tour of our first van, the Landship One. With my experience in high end carpentry and boat building, and his experience in off grid innovations, we decided to come together to build this van unlike anyone had seen before. This van is for sale, so if you're interested, hit us up in the link below. And without further ado, welcome to the Landship. The Landship is built brand new Ford Transit 350 all-wheel drive, 148 wheelbase. With the shorter wheelbase and all-wheel drive, you can park and drive almost anywhere. The first thing you notice when looking at the Landship is the vibrant western red cedar planking and handcrafted white oak portholes that make every drive feel like you're setting sail. You might also notice the mechanically tilting solar sail. But we'll get back to that at the end of the tour. Entering the landship feels like walking into a yacht. Inspired by the traditional boat building craft, every surface of the van is covered in one-of-a-kind carpentry. With premium woods and an open, airy layout, being in the landship feels like relaxing exhale. The white oak portholes rest in alcoves lined with western red cedar and bring an abundance of light into the van. Handcrafted white oak fluting lines the kitchen, walls, and custom curved upper cabinets. The waving white oak gives the van a mesmerizing look and feel. Cozy copper accents tie together the nautical theme of the van. The kitchen has a highly functional induction cooktop and a deep copper sink and faucet combo, as well as plenty of space for food prep. The deep copper sink and faucet line up with the porthole window. Doing the dishes is a dream. The kitchen has plenty of drawer storage and an angle fridge that's deep enough to store all your food while having a freezer compartment. The kitchen also has a slide out trash can that may be the biggest one we've seen in the van. Daily dumps are a thing of the past. We challenged ourselves to make a layout that sacrificed nothing in a shorter, more agile wheel length van. From our experience, having a van you can park in any parking space is a huge advantage. But just as important as having an open space you can actually enjoy with your friends. Our L bench converts into a dining room, workspace, and even bunk beds that can sleep for comfortably. The kitchen counter folds down, opening up the L bench space. L bench can be used as a spacious lounge or a luxurious day bed with a view. And if you want even more party space, the front two seats swivel around. The lounge transforms into a dining room or workstation with the versatile Lagoon swivel mount table. The table is a custom walnut butcher block curved to match the theme of the van. It easily swivels in multiple directions creating an extremely versatile space where multiple people can eat or work at the same time comfortably. We designed this van to be the ultimate remote workstation with beautiful ergonomics and a signal booster that allows you to stay connected in the most remote places. Plug your devices into the USB or wall outlets built into the alcove. Lift the foldable antenna on the roof rack to capture more cell signal. Flip the switch in the alcove and the signal booster turns on. Place your hotspot device next to the internal antenna and one or two bars of service is boosted to five. With the Landship, you can work remote in places you never could before. When you're done with the table, the table and the arms slide into holsters on the back door, which are actually easily accessible from the inside as well. Now it's time to get cozy. Within a minute, the bench transforms into bunk beds. Pop the back pillow out, then slide two panels over the bed rails. They have pins that fit securely into holes so they don't go anywhere. Our custom upholstered pillows fit snug so you never fall through the cracks. The bottom bunk slides out easily, and the backrest pillows fit snug against the fridge, making a comfortable bed in between the size of a twin and a full. The top bunk is a luxurious queen with an incredible view. With two beds, bring your friends along for a van life slumber party. The ceiling's western red cedar blends seamlessly with the circular lights, 
that mirror the porthole windows and give a luxurious, dimmable glow for whatever mood you're in. As your eyes keep going down the ceiling, you notice one of the standout features of the van, the hideaway recirculating shower system. We wanted a fully functional bathroom without taking so much space in the van, so we built it over the entryway. We custom bent copper piping to create a curtain rod that wraps around the ceiling. Then the copper rainfall shower system is inlaid to give a beautiful accent to the van. The handmade floor of the van transitions from a walnut butcher block to a marbling waterproof teak that makes up the shower floor. Constructed using fiberglass boat building techniques, the floor is completely waterproof and it is beveled in all directions so the low point of the floor is the shower drain. The curtain slides easily around the copper rod, creating an enclosed shower room. Magnets snap the curtain closed as well as snap the curtain to the shower floor, making sure all the water ends up in the drain. Simply grab the key from the holster and open the hot or cold valve to get a luxurious rainfall shower. Then, if you want an infinitely long shower without wasting your precious water, flip the first switch to make it into a recirculating system. Water flows from the electric hot water heater onto your body, through the drain, and then is pumped up through seven filters and a UV light, coming back onto your body completely clean. It means you can take a long, luxurious shower and only use a little water and electricity. No more do you have to refill your water tank after every van shower. At the end of your shower, flip the second switch to dump the used water into the gray water tank. After the water is drained, flip both switches to the off position and the system is primed with fresh, clean water for the next shower cycle. Drying the floor after a shower is easy. Wipe it down, then turn on the Wabasto heater system conveniently located just above the shower floor. When combined with the max air ceiling fan, the floor dries out in minutes. After you're done using it, the shower curtain slides into a waterproof holster behind the kitchen. With the heater and fan, it dries out just as fast as the floor. The shower curtain also doubles as a privacy room for our composting toilet. Open the hatch and the compost toilet slides out on 500 pound drawer slides. Then pull the curtain right around the composting toilet to make a private room. After years living with compost toilets, we believe ours is better than the best brands. The bin for the compost material and the TP holder are conveniently built into the box. Just like the top brands, the solids and liquids are separated and it's mechanically ventilated to prevent any odors. But what makes ours better is that instead of collecting the liquids in a jug like the others, our liquids flow through the floor into the gray water tank, mixing with the soapy water from the shower and the sink. Say goodbye to dumping nasty pee jugs forever. One of the few things that's more important than a bathroom and a van is temperature control. The Landship is built to be a four seasons van that can handle harsh climates. The thick walls of the van are extremely well insulated with sustainable blow-in wool and spray foam. All the windows of the van have highly insulated covers made of premium thinsulate and reflective material as well as thermally insulated blinds that also block out the light. The least insulated part of a van is the window shield. So we have a thermally insulated blackout curtain that snaps to the ceilings and walls, creating a completely insulated space and blocking all light so the van is not a fishbowl at night. Open up the control box in the wall and you'll have access to the van's heating and cooling systems. In the wintertime, turn on the Wabasto heater and the van gets toasty even in sub-zero temperature. Then flip the next switch and all the plumbing under the van is electrically heated so nothing ever freezes. When it's hot outside, grab the remote for the air conditioning system of the van and turn it on. Our efficient Zero Breeze air conditioner blows icy air out of the vents, keeping you cool on those hot summer nights. Another top priority living in a van is storage and the Landship has plenty of it. We have spacious upper cabinets, hidden drawers, and a huge garage area accessed from the back of the van. Store buckets full of all of your adventure gear, or fold up the shelf and store something even bigger. The vast majority of the storage is actually on the roof rack, but again, we'll get back to that at the end of the video. 
The fill for the 32 gallon fresh water tank is also in the garage. Flip the switch and you open an overflow to safely fill the water tank. The switch also pressurizes the quick connect for the outdoor shower hose, so you can spray off those sandy feet after a surf. The electrical system of the van lives under the bench. We create a massive 24 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with overkill BMS. This system can power everything in the van off the grid indefinitely. Turn on the 4,000 watt inverter and you can run the induction cooktop, hot water heater, and use the outlets all at the same time with no worries. You can even use the exterior outlet on the van to run your power tools. All the van systems are tracked with the sleek C-Marine monitor screen. You can see in real time how much energy the system is using or generating. You can also track water tank levels, inside and outside temperature, and even the angle that the van is parked at, making finding a good place to shower easy. The three dimmer wheels under the screen control the lights. And for the grand finale, the charging system of the van. Like other high-end vans, you can charge the system by plugging it into shore power. And the system charges while you drive from the alternator. But unlike the others, we have a massive 750 watt solar system that mechanically tilts to the perfect angle for solar generation. We call it the Landship Solar Sail. To open the rack and tilt the panels, turn off the electromagnetic locks that clamp it closed while you drive. This supplies power to the actuators that lift the panels. Then you can rotate the control wheel manually or press one of the three programmable preset angles. As the panels tilt, you can watch the energy generated increase in real time on the Seamarine screen. It's easy to find the perfect angle for maximum solar generation. And when you do, your power generation can double. This is an absolute game changer for being able to stay off grid without driving or having to plug in for power. Especially in the wintertime when the sun is low in the sky, you can stay in that mountain parking lot as long as you want with all the power you need. But the solar sail isn't just for power generation. It's also a massive storage box you never have to leave behind the gear you want. For all you surfers out there, that means you can bring your entire quiver, including a 10-foot longboard with the fin on. But wait, there's more. When you tilt the roof rack all the way to 90, you can climb up the back and hang out on the roof deck underneath the panels. With the solar sail, you can have eight person parties, scope the waves, tent camp or stargaze. The possibilities are endless. And with that, the landship tour is a wrap. Help put wind in our sails with a like and subscribe. And until next time, cut ties and set sail.